At this point, we're about 25 games into the NBA season, and now teams start to know if they have a realistic shot at competing for the playoffs or if they're better off tanking. Usually starting in December, teams start preparing to make a trade to improve their team, while rebuilding teams will trade their veterans to give their young players more playing time and improve their lottery odds. That brings us to the topic of today's video. Recently, it's been reported that Kyle Kuzma could be available for trade, and the Knicks are a team that's linked to Kuzma. According to an NBA source, Kuzma wants out, and he's looking for over $20 million a season, and he wants to be in a big market. Kuzma is also a CAA client, so his ties to the Knicks make a lot of sense. Kuzma does have a player option for $13 million, but he's going to decline that player option so he can make more money in free agency. And it makes sense for Washington to move them since they're only 11 and 16 and they look like a lottery team and would rather get something for him than to lose him for nothing in free agency. As for Kuzma, he's currently in the middle of a breakout season. He's averaging 21 points, 7 boards and 4 assists per game on 46% shooting. But how would he fit on the Knicks? I think Kuzma could be a great fit as a third option next to Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. On Washington, he's proven that he's a very capable third option next to Bradley Bill and Przingis. He's a very polished player that can score on all three levels, but he's also a very good rebounder and provides solid defense. And he's interchangeable at both the small forward and power forward position. Whether the Knicks front office pulls the trigger on a Kyle Kuzma trade depends a lot on how they feel about RJ Barrett. Because if they were to acquire Kuz, he essentially replaces RJ Barrett in the starting lineup as the starting small forward, and truth be told, Kuzma would be a huge upgrade. RJ Barrett's start to the season has been rough to put it lightly. He simply has not made the leap that the front office was hoping he'd make when they gave him that big extension. RJ is averaging 18 points per game, but he's doing it on just 41% shooting from the field and 28% from three. There are occasional flashes of brilliance, but plenty of horrific shooting nights in between. He's still struggling to shoot the ball from the outside, can't create his own shot off the dribble, can't hit pull-up jumpers, and often fails to hit the open teammate on his drives to the basket. He's also declining defensively, and we're even starting to see teams target RJ on the defensive end, where they know they could just blow right by him and get all the way to the rim. And while he is just 22, he's in his fourth year, and third and fourth season is typically when young players make that all-star leap. To RJ's credit, he is playing a lot better over the past 10 or so games, but there's a strong possibility RJ never lives up to the expectations that comes with being a number three overall pick. Kuzma isn't a star, but he would be a huge upgrade for the Knicks at the small forward position, on both ends of the floor, and the Knicks can move RJ to the bench. RJ is a score first player, so this could be a way for him to be more efficient and help him impact winning more. Of course, I'm sure there's plenty of fans that aren't ready to give up on RJ Barrett becoming a star, but considering that the front office almost traded him for Donovan Mitchell, they've shown they're willing to move him if they believe they're getting a huge talent upgrade. Kuzma without question would be an upgrade over RJ Barrett, give the Knicks a much needed talent upgrade, and increase their odds of making the playoffs. And I would imagine that the price for Kuzma wouldn't be too high, being that he's on an expiring contract. The Wizards will probably want at least the first round pick, but if you're the Knicks, you own 11 first rounders over the next 7 years, so you can part with one and still have an entire stash for another big move. Lastly, Kuzo would be a potential flight risk for the Knicks, but being that he wants to be in a big market, I think the Knicks would have a pretty good chance of re-signing him. This could be an opportunity for the Knicks to make a talent upgrade while not giving up too much assets in return. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for me. What do you think of Kyle Kuzma and would you like to see the next trade for him? Tell me in the comments. Guys, I'm trying to get to 12,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So please, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button and click this video to see another player who could upgrade the Knicks roster.